I'm now speaking with Mrs. Robinson. Uh, Mrs. Robinson has a few kids here that come to the Urban League after school program here every day. Uh, Mrs. Robinson, uh, when you found out that we have a different type of an approach to molding these kids' behavior, uh, any comments about that? Well, you have to you have to tell me specifically what oh. what, what type of molding. Oh, that's a good question. Um, our thought was uh, to try to instill a sense of social responsibility, like voting, uh, like uh, stronger self-awareness, uh, 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 getting them more in line with their goals and ambitions, and documenting that. Because it seems as though that, well, it just seems like, uh, from my own experience, I'll say it that way, that if you're in an interview on TV at a young age, that kills your fear of being on TV, you know, later in life. Or if you had a chance to speak in front of people at some point in time, and then when you're older and you speak in front of people, it's not that much of a, of a deal. Versus when someone who's, who has never been in front of a large crowd to speak or never has been on TV before, and then they are, as an adult, presented with that opportunity, they get scared. And... Uh, we have a theory that we can nip that in the bud by using these kids at this uh, age right now. Any reality there? Yes, there is. And um, there, I was watching some of the previous uh, interviews you have conducted with some of the uh, other youth. And um, it didn't seem as though the questions you were ask, asking them or they were prompting them to, t uh, to speak a certain way or talk a certain way or say a certain things. And it all seemed so natural and it's like a clear flow so when you look at uh, or listen to what they are saying a lot of the information um, uh, or by presented by the questions that was asked they had a pretty good understanding of what the question was and how to respond to the questions and I thought that was nice I thought it was beautiful and um, I was surprised when I seen the, um, the video regarding that because you know uh, at the Urban League Gala that they had this past weekend I had a chance to interview people like uh, Ted Williams, who has McDonald's, and Michelle Chambers, and a whole lot of other people. And it was kind of surprising that that they remember back when they were five, six, and seven years old setting goals. So apparently that's not that strange of an idea, and it is important. Yeah, it is important to set goals at that particular age. A lot of times there, I believe, that uh, most of them pretty much have an idea uh, between the ages of five and seven what they would really want to do. I think um, in order to get them to that particular uh, state, and it's okay if it changes, but a lot of times it doesn't change very much from um, what they stated at those uh, years. But the goal then I think should be is to make sure that we keep them uh, focused on what they uh, said they would want to do, give them options and ideas and, and try to relay what their goals are according to what they need to study for and then um, present the other options. I think um, with um, the help of uh, guidance, like guidance counselors, I think they should be kind of in the school area even before high school so that we can um, kind of look at those different occupations um, that may be available to them um, later on in life and to present to them some other options. You know how one field, you can go in one field, but it can branch out into a whole other, uh, another different types of fields of uh, interest that are similar or related to maybe one of their fields of interest. And if they had the opportunity to know all the different uh, names or titles of those positions, then they uh, could have another way of looking at things and um, explore the other options or related fields. You know, one of the things that, that um, we wanted to do also was, was capture these kids in a mode of doing something right. Or, or like I said, or expressing a thought so that we will have captured a moment in time so that next year and future years they'll have a snapshot of that point in time so they can always reference, you know, go, you know, so they can look back on it. And uh, when they're coming into some type of a self awareness, they will see the things that have contributed to that. Is that valid? Yeah, it's, that's very valid. Um, when you see where you, you know, it's good. That same, it's going in line still with the idea of having goals. And here today, we uh, they may have uh, presented these particular goals and had these particular ideas or opinions. And as life goes on, they, they might have formed different opinions, learned some new things. So yeah, I would say that's a.
worthy cause. Now, you know, I, I have to be personal here for a moment. What did you do uh, with, with your daughter? Uh, she is so full of energy and enthusiasm, and and whenever I hit her with a question from any angle, she has a thorough answer for it. How did you instill that, um, I guess, an ability to listen so well in her at a young age? Well, with all my kids, um, I talk to them. So <laughs> I talk to them. I give them other ways of looking at things. Um, I just uh, I depend on the subject. So even when we're driving along in the car or just certain ideas pop up or something we might see um, on our travels or things like that, it might spark me to uh, have a comment about that. And at that point, I was like, hey, did you know? Uh, did you look at it this way? Have you considered this? And then we'll have a discussion about various different subjects. You know, why do you feel it's important for parents to come in and uh, express their views on a program and some of the innovative things that we're doing here? Why do they need to uh, voice any concerns or say something about this? Well, that goes for anything that uh, individuals are participating in. You know, if you're going to participate in the process, you need to first know what the process is and what you're actually participating in before even going into the process so you have a clear understanding of what is expected of you. So, um, you know, if, if you understand why you're there, what you intend to do, and what's the expectations, then, then at that point, if you have any additional questions at that point, then you could, you know, expound or, or ask more questions or maybe perhaps give your opinion. If sometimes they want it, sometimes, uh, you know, people don't want your opinion, but sometimes you still have to give one even if the individual isn't looking for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs>